Hmm. What in the world do those symbols really mean? Sound of the ocean. This is such a cool ship! Facing the sea breeze and gazing out at the soaring seagulls... Oh, makes me want to sing out loud! Kazuha, how about I stay here and be the ship's resident bard? What are my prospects? With your level of artistic finesse, I'm sure nothing will go wrong. But I'm afraid the sailors aboard are not the most versed in the arts. They probably wouldn't understand the deeper meaning your poetry holds. <laughs> you can't say that for sure. Poetry is spur-of-the-moment creations. Anyone viewing the same sights and experiencing the same atmosphere would surely understand. Ah, <sighs> there's a port in Mondstadt too, but I rarely get the chance to board any of the ships. Speaking of ships, everything's perfect about this one, except... Hmm? Um, Kazuha, could you tell your captain that my height says nothing of my age? I'm way past drinking age. How often does one get to enjoy a seafood feast on a ship? Uh, it'll be a real shame if there isn't anything stronger to enhance the food. Pretty please? There's not much I can do about that. It's not because Captain Beto's not on the ship right now, but because there's no room for negotiation on this matter. Even I have to sit in the no-drinking zone every time. Uh, but I don't get drunk after just a few sips. Trust me, I can hold my liquor really well. This is such a cool ship! Facing the sea breeze and gazing out at the soaring seagulls... Oh, makes me want to sing out loud! Kazuha, how about I stay here and be the ship's resident bard? What are my prospects? With your level of artistic finesse, I'm sure nothing will go wrong. But I'm afraid the sailors aboard are not the most versed in the arts. They probably wouldn't understand the deeper meaning your poetry holds. <laughs> you can't say that for sure. Poetry is spur-of-the-moment creations. Anyone viewing the same sights and experiencing the same atmosphere would surely understand. <sighs> There's a port in Mondstadt, too, but I rarely get the chance to board any of the ships. Speaking of ships, everything's perfect about this one, except... Hmm? Um, Kazuha, could you tell your captain that my height says nothing of my age? I'm way past drinking age. How often does one get to enjoy a seafood feast on a ship? Uh, it'll be a real shame if there isn't anything stronger to enhance the food. Pretty please? There's not much I can do about that. It's not because Captain Beto's not on the ship right now, but because there's no room for negotiation on this matter. Even I have to sit in the no-drinking zone every time. Uh, but I don't get drunk after just a few sips. Trust me, I can hold my liquor really well. Hmm. This is such a cool ship! Facing the sea breeze and gazing out at the soaring seagulls... Oh, makes me want to sing out loud! Kazuha, how about I stay here and be the ship's resident bard? What are my prospects? With your level of artistic finesse, I'm sure nothing will go wrong. But I'm afraid the sailors aboard are not the most versed in the arts. They probably wouldn't understand the deeper meaning your poetry holds. <laughs> you can't say that for sure. Poetry is spur-of-the-moment creations. Anyone viewing the same sights and experiencing the same atmosphere would surely understand. <sighs> There's a port in Mondstadt, too, but I rarely get the chance to board any of the ships. Speaking of ships, everything's perfect about this one, except... Hmm? Um, Kazuha... Could you tell your captain that my height says nothing of my age? I'm way past drinking age. How often does one get to enjoy a seafood feast on a ship? Uh, it'll be a real shame if there isn't anything stronger to enhance the food. Pretty please? There's not much I can do about that. 
It's not because Captain Beto's not on the ship right now, but because there's no room for negotiation on this matter. Even I have to sit in the no drinking zone every time. Uh, but I don't get drunk after just a few sips. Trust me, I can hold my liquor really well. <laughs> this is such a cool ship! Facing the sea breeze and gazing out at the soaring seagulls... Uh, makes me want to sing out loud! Kazuha! How about I stay here and be the ship's resident bard? What are my prospects? With your level of artistic finesse, I'm sure nothing will go wrong. But I'm afraid the sailors aboard are not the most versed in the arts. They probably wouldn't understand the deeper meaning your poetry holds. <laughs> you can't say that for sure. Poetry is spur-of-the-moment creations. Anyone viewing the same sights and experiencing the same atmosphere would surely understand. Ah, <sighs> there's a port in Mondstadt too, but I rarely get the chance to board any of the ships. Speaking of ships, everything's perfect about this one, except... Hmm? Um, Kazuha, could you tell your captain that my height says nothing of my age? I'm way past drinking age. How often does one get to enjoy a seafood feast on a ship? Uh, it'll be a real shame if there isn't anything stronger to enhance the food. Pretty please? There's not much I can do about that. It's not because Captain Beto's not on the ship right now, but because there's no room for negotiation on this matter. Even I have to sit in the no drinking zone every time. Uh, but I don't get drunk after just a few sips. Trust me, I can hold my liquor really well. The vegetables are fresh, and there are enough wheats and grains stocked up. I'll pass on the seafood. Oh, it's you. We meet again. Surprised to see me here? It's the director's orders. Chongling worked all day and night at the restaurant during the festival, and didn't get to have any time to enjoy the festivities. The director sent me here to help out in the kitchen, so that Xiongling will have some time to herself. But with someone as hard-working as you around, there seems to be nothing much for me to do. It feels good seeing my old friend in the kitchen, fetching ingredients and lighting fires. Perhaps I should borrow Cloud Retainer's Supreme Cuisine Machine to speed things up. Yeah. You'd still prefer to make them by hand, but of course. The vegetables are fresh, and there are enough wheats and grains stocked up. I'll pass on the seafood. Oh. It's you. We meet again. Surprised to see me here? It's the director's orders. Chongling worked all day and night at the restaurant during the festival and didn't get to have any time to enjoy the festivities. The director sent me here to help out in the kitchen so that Chongling will have some time to herself. But with someone as hardworking as you around, there seems to be nothing much for me to do. It feels good seeing my old friend in the kitchen, fetching ingredients and lighting fires. Perhaps I should borrow Cloud Retainer's Supreme Cuisine Machine to speed things up. Yeah. You'd still prefer to make them by hand, but of course. The vegetables are fresh, and there are enough wheats and grains stocked up. I'll pass on the seafood. Oh, it's you. We meet again. Surprised to see me here? It's the director's orders. Xiongling worked all day and night at the restaurant during the festival and didn't get to have any time to enjoy the festivities. The director sent me here to help out in the kitchen so that Xiongling will have some time to herself. 
but with someone as hardworking as you around, there seems to be nothing much for me to do. It feels good seeing my old friend in the kitchen, fetching ingredients and lighting fires. Perhaps I should borrow Cloud Retainer's Supreme Cuisine Machine to speed things up. You'd still prefer to make them by hand, but of course. Okay, now I need to get a move on and write my next song. Listen to you. You only just fulfilled one lifetime dream. Are you really thinking about your next goal already? Don't try to tell me you ain't the same way. I bet you've already thought up a name for your next opera, haven't you? <laughs> you know me too well, Xinyan. The Adeptus Seeking Voyage. How does that sound? Oh, oh, oh man! Yeah, I can already picture it! I've also got just the finishing line for it. I'll close with, and the celestial melody echoed through the clouds forevermore. Okay, now I need to get a move on and write my next song. <laughs> Listen to you. You only just fulfilled one lifetime dream. Are you really thinking about your next goal already? Don't try to tell me you ain't the same way. I bet you've already thought up a name for your next opera, haven't you? <laughs> you know me too well, Xinyan. The Adeptus Seeking Voyage. How does that sound? Oh, oh, oh man! Yeah, I can already picture it! I've also got just the finishing line for it. I'll close with, and the celestial melody echoed through the clouds forevermore. Okay, now I need to get a move on and write my next song. <laughs> Listen to you. You only just fulfilled one lifetime dream. Are you really thinking about your next goal already? Don't try to tell me you ain't the same way. I bet you've already thought up a name for your next opera, haven't you? <laughs> you know me too well, Xinyan. The Adeptus Seeking Voyage. How does that sound? Oh, 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 man! Yeah, I can already picture it! I've also got just the finishing line for it. I'll close with, and the celestial melody echoed through the clouds forevermore. Okay, now I need to get a move on and write my next song. <laughs> Listen to you. You only just fulfilled one lifetime dream. Are you really thinking about your next goal already? Don't try to tell me you ain't the same way. I bet you've already thought up a name for your next opera, haven't you? <laughs> you know me too well, Xinyan. The Adeptus Seeking Voyage. How does that sound? Oh, oh, oh man! Yeah, I can already picture it! I've also got just the finishing line for it. I'll close with, and the celestial melody echoed through the clouds forevermore.
enjoying the sea breeze while listening to the music. Ah, what a wonderful holiday. Lantern Rite celebrations are getting better by the year. Such wonderful music. Dr. Baiju, I've brought the herbs. Who are they for? The singers. Performing at a music festival is very demanding. Using these herbs in good time will protect their voices from damage. Oh, that's why you were preparing them all night. <laughs> I dared not neglect the Yuhung's request. Her messenger was quite insistent that it should take top priority. Let me double check again. This one is for... The Lantern Rite celebrations are getting better by the year. Such wonderful music. Dr. Baiju, I've brought the herbs. Who are they for? The singers. Performing at a music festival is very demanding. Using these herbs in good time will protect their voices from damage. Oh, that's why you were preparing them all night. <laughs> I dared not neglect the Yuhung's request. Her messenger was quite insistent that it should take top priority. Let me double check again. This one is for... The Lantern Rite celebrations are getting better by the year. Such wonderful music. Dr. Baiju, I've brought the herbs. Who are they for? The singers. Performing at a music festival is very demanding. Using these herbs in good time will protect their voices from damage. Oh, that's why you were preparing them all night. <laughs> I dared not neglect the Yuhung's request. Her messenger was quite insistent that it should take top priority. Let me double check again. This one is for... <laughs> Sing Cho, you have to be honest. Hmm? Honest about what? How did you and Venti really meet? Wh why are you suddenly asking that? Huh? Aren't they book buddies? Yeah, we met a few times at a book convention, that's all. Oh, really? With that extraordinary demeanor and literary talent, he's definitely not just any bard. If he's someone that could hold his ground in a conversation with a consultant, he needs to at least be as talented as me. Um, perhaps you're overthinking this matter. 
Tao, Xincho wouldn't lie to us. Uh, okay, I'll tell you the truth. Huh? Xincho! I'm actually a fan of Venti's poetry. You all know that I love reading, and sometimes come across poetry from Mondstadt. Among those works, I admire the ones penned by Venti the most. Just as Hu Tao said, his artistry is the reflection of his personality, remarkable grace and exceptional literary talent. I guess Venti didn't tell you the whole truth back at the restaurant because he didn't want to embarrass me in front of everyone. He's such a considerate person. Uh, yes, right. I can confirm that. When Sing Cho was busy with other things, he asked me to buy him poetry books in secret. I see. That didn't sound like too much of a big deal. You could have told us right away. Well, I'm telling you now, aren't I? Oh, so that's your story. Ugh, forget it. Let's drop this topic. It's not often that the four of us are all together. What should we do next? Hide and seek, hopscotch, or some shopping? Since there's four of us, why don't we borrow a mahjong set? <laughs> Sing Cho, you have to be honest. Hmm? Honest about what? How did you and Venti really meet? Wh why are you suddenly asking that? Huh? Aren't they book buddies? Yeah, we met a few times at a book convention, that's all. Oh, really? With that extraordinary demeanor and literary talent, he's definitely not just any bard. If he's someone that could hold his ground in a conversation with a consultant, he needs to at least be as talented as me. Um, perhaps you're overthinking this matter. Hu Tao, Xincho wouldn't lie to us. Uh, okay, I'll tell you the truth. Huh? Xincho! I'm actually a fan of Venti's poetry. You all know that I love reading, and sometimes come across poetry from Mondstadt. Among those works, I admire the ones penned by Venti the most. Just as Hu Tao said, his artistry is the reflection of his personality, Remarkable grace and exceptional literary talent. I guess Venti didn't tell you the whole truth back at the restaurant because he didn't want to embarrass me in front of everyone. He's such a considerate person. Uh, yes, right. I can confirm that. When Sing Cho was busy with other things, he asked me to buy him poetry books in secret. I see. That didn't sound like too much of a big deal. You could have told us right away. Well, I'm telling you now, aren't I? Oh, so that's your story. Ugh, forget it. Let's drop this topic. It's not often that the four of us are all together. What should we do next? Hide and seek, hopscotch, or some shopping? Since there's four of us, why don't we borrow a mahjong set? <laughs> Sing Cho, you have to be honest. Hmm? Honest about what? How did you and Venti really meet? Wh why are you suddenly asking that? Huh? Aren't they book buddies? Yeah, we met a few times at a book convention, that's all. Oh, really? With that extraordinary demeanor and literary talent, he's definitely not just any bard. If he's someone that could hold his ground in a conversation with a consultant, he needs to at least be as talented as me. Um, perhaps you're overthinking this matter. Uh... Hu Tao, Xincho wouldn't lie to us. Uh, okay, I'll tell you the truth. Huh? Xincho! I'm actually a fan of Venti's poetry. You all know that I love reading, and sometimes come across poetry from Mondstadt. Among those works, I admire the ones penned by Venti the most. Just as Hu Tao said, his artistry is the reflection of his personality, remarkable grace and exceptional literary talent. I guess Venti didn't tell you the whole truth back at the restaurant because he didn't want to embarrass me in front of everyone. He's such a considerate person. Uh, yes, right. I can confirm that. 
when Sing Cho was busy with other things, he asked me to buy him poetry books in secret. I see. That didn't sound like too much of a big deal. You could have told us right away. Well, I'm telling you now, aren't I? Oh, so that's your story. Ugh, forget it. Let's drop this topic. It's not often that the four of us are all together. What should we do next? Hide and seek, hopscotch, or some shopping? Since there's four of us, why don't we borrow a mahjong set? <laughs> Sing Cho, you have to be honest. Hmm? Honest about what? How did you and Venti really meet? Wh why are you suddenly asking that? Huh? Aren't they book buddies? Yeah, we met a few times at a book convention, that's all. Oh, really? With that extraordinary demeanor and literary talent, he's definitely not just any bard. If he's someone that could hold his ground in a conversation with a consultant, he needs to at least be as talented as me. Um, perhaps you're overthinking this matter. Hu uh, Tao, Xincho wouldn't lie to us. Uh, okay, I'll tell you the truth. Huh? Xincho! I'm actually a fan of Venti's poetry. You all know that I love reading, and sometimes come across poetry from Mondstadt. Among those works, I admire the ones penned by Venti the most. Just as Hu Tao said, his artistry is the reflection of his personality, remarkable grace and exceptional literary talent. I guess Venti didn't tell you the whole truth back at the restaurant, because he didn't want to embarrass me in front of everyone. He's such a considerate person. Uh, yes, right. I can confirm that. When Sing Cho was busy with other things, he asked me to buy him poetry books in secret. I see. That didn't sound like too much of a big deal. You could have told us right away. Well, I'm telling you now, aren't I? Oh, so that's your story. Ugh, forget it. Let's drop this topic. It's not often that the four of us are all together. What should we do next? Hide and seek, hopscotch, or some shopping? Since there's four of us, why don't we borrow a mahjong set? Yen Shao just came up here with some almond tofu, but I haven't finished everything Shang Ling gave me yet. You should try some too. I'm not as experienced in tasting mortal food as you, and I couldn't tell the difference. There must be many different stories to tell of the hustle and bustle of the mortal world, too. You can tell me. I will listen. <laughs> Yen Shao just came up here with some almond tofu, but... I haven't finished everything Shang Ling gave me yet. You should try some too. I'm not as experienced in tasting mortal food as you, and I couldn't tell the difference. There must be many different stories to tell of the hustle and bustle of the mortal world too. You can tell me. I will listen.
Hey, don't tell me you called me over for just a game of chess. You have to be more specific, Captain Beto. Is it that you find playing chess an uninteresting activity, or that you're unhappy about my lack of novel ideas? If you don't specify what you mean, how could I know what I should do to please you? <laughs> of course. I make a single remark and you reply with a full-blown lecture. Maybe we should deal with all official affairs publicly in the future. It might just make things easier. I'd be perfectly happy with that. I'm just worried that Captain Beto's business might be negatively affected. Don't give me that. That woman from Yenshang Tea House sometimes comes aboard to ask for information. She requested the fleet to import some goods, but how could I not know who she's actually working for? Oh. <laughs> you sure know a lot, Captain Beto. How about I ask her to come over? Or maybe we go straight to her tea house? With one more person around, we'll be able to have some variety in our chess games. I hope that that would be less of a bore to you. <laughs> so, we're still gonna play chess after all. I'm so happy! And all the grandmas and grandpas in Chingsa Village had a great time too. You mean, what am I doing here? Well, just now, I did a performance for everyone. Although I can't play an instrument anywhere near as well as Master, I can still sing. Even Granny Roisin said I did a great job. She also gave me some candies. <laughs> I'm so happy. And all the grandmas and grandpas in Chingsa Village had a great time too. Masters told me a lot of stories about the Adepti. There was Skybracer with the giant deer horns, and Seagazer who loved to collect treasure. Sometimes Master talks and talks for a long time, until her voice starts to sound sad. But then she always breaks into a smile again, and tells me all of the things each of them loved best about Li Yue. I love everything about Li Yue. Some of the Adepti are gone now, but it's okay, because I'm going to help take care of everyone in their stead. I'm so happy, and all the grandmas and grandpas in Chingsa Village had a great time too. I'm happy that Mr. Dvorak found the fairy lady from his story, and I'm also happy that it turned out it was Master all along. Also, I helped out this time too, didn't I? So that means I was... paying homage to my master? Oh, oh! Also, Mr. Dvorak got one of his friends to bring me a toy from Fontaine! I like it a lot! At first, I didn't know whether I was supposed to accept it or not, but then Master said it was okay, so I did. I'm so happy! And all the grandmas and grandpas in Chingsa Village had a great time, too. See you! Make sure you take good care of Paimon! Oh, and please come play with me if you ever have the time! I'm so happy! And all the grandmas and grandpas in Chingsa Village had a great time, too. See you! Make sure you take good care of Paimon! Oh, and please come play with me if you ever have the time! <sighs> Granny, you play so beautifully. Do you think you could teach me? Oh, child, you simply never stop, do you? This festival is a rare chance to rest and relax. But here you are pestering me to teach you this, that, and the other. <laughs> Don't worry, Granny. I'm a fast learner. And anyway, the sooner I start learning, the sooner we'll be able to perform a duet together. A musical duo is only as good as its weakest link. So you gotta teach me all your secrets, okay? All right, all right. Well, <laughs> you can start by making me some more tea and leaving it to cool on the side. Sure, Granny.
<clears throat> Granny, you play so beautifully. Do you think you could teach me? Oh, child, you simply never stop, do you? This festival is a rare chance to rest and relax. But here you are pestering me to teach you this, that, and the other. <laughs> Don't worry, Granny, I'm a fast learner. And anyway, the sooner I start learning, the sooner we'll be able to perform a duet together. A musical duo is only as good as its weakest link, so you gotta teach me all your secrets, okay? All right, all right. Well, you can start by making me some more tea and leaving it to cool on the side. Sure, Granny. Magnificent! Absolutely magnificent! Yes, when I heard the music coming from up in the clouds, I was so stunned I could barely think or move. I felt like it had a special kind of hold over me. Hmm, or maybe it was the adepto power within the music. And the ensemble at the end was truly sublime. I felt like I would have started to cry if I hadn't been one of the performers on the stage. Magnificent! Absolutely magnificent! Well, Lady Ningwang, the Tian Xuan of the Li Yue Qixing, has invited me to visit her again at Yujing Terrace to discuss a long-term collaboration plan. I do hope everything goes well and that we have more opportunities to collaborate in the future. The next time we have another performance, you'll have to come. I will save the best seat for you. Magnificent! Absolutely magnificent! <laughs> I have already given her my thanks in person. This is what she said. It is only natural to lend a hand when we see someone in distress. The wonderful music you brought to Liyue is worth far more than gratitude. Truly, I, I felt so honored. But I've also made a decision for myself. I will strive to create even more wonderful, original music for this era. Our era. Magnificent! Absolutely magnificent! We couldn't have accomplished all this without you. Please accept my most heartfelt thanks again. If you like the video then please don't forget to smash the like button. Bye bye.